it, there it goes. Nice. All right. So yeah, I'm I'm live, I guess, and uh, I'm a little late to the to this behind schedule as always. Um, trying to figure out uh, the YouTube go live and all that and how how it works and everything. So anyway, um, yeah. So um, hey guys, uh, my name is Mike, and hopefully you guys are watching. And if you are, so. I think I see one in the chat right now. Um, yeah, so go ahead and say hi. You say something. Um, and uh, let me know that you're here. And um, all right, so uh, this is the Tech Bolt Show. And I might as well start with saying, uh, you know, uh, first, what my goal on this channel is. First of all, it's uh, to find the right phone, case, and face to fit your life and style. And let me know if you can hear me. If I sound good through the mic or not. And um, so, yeah, so right now I've got a lot of things to, to talk about. And I'm going to have to get used to looking at this camera up here. I'm going to look down right here, um, but I'll try my best to look at the green light that's right there on the camera. So, all right, so today we're going to be talking mostly about things for the Note 10 Plus. All right, so if you're at all interested in you know, the Note 10 Plus at all, uh, this is the uh, show you're going to want to watch right now. And uh, so uh, this is the Tech Wilt Show. And the Tech Wilt Show means so what I learned today about tech. Okay, so not really what I learned, but basically what I want to help you learn today about technology. Okay, so oftentimes our technology will continue to just get older and older and it'll kind of wilt as it goes along, right? So I want to kind of add life to your technology. Um, so hopefully I can um, in this show. All right. Uh, so today I want to talk about a couple of things that I got from dbrand. And you'll see in the thumbnail that I showed this right here. And there's some really cool things um, in here from dbrand. Uh, so dbrand decided to pair up with a Jerry Rig Everything. And uh, uh, Jerry Rig Everything is known for um, doing YouTube videos. And he does YouTube videos on tearing down phones, okay? And for a while, he was tearing down, he was taking off the back of the phone and scraping off all the paint underneath the glass there. And so what would happen is he would put it all back and he'd have a clear piece of gla glass and you'd be able to see through the back of the phone. And sorry about all the smudges right there. And uh, so instead of us tearing down our the backs of our phones and probably voiding our warranties, uh, Dbrand paired up with, um, or partnered up with Jerry Rig Everything, and he made these. So these right here are like an exact replica of what the inside of the Note 10 Plus looks like. All right, so if you get a clear case with that, it's going to look, you know, pretty cool through that case right there, right? So most people are probably not going to know any better. They're going to think, you know, maybe you have... <laughs> The back of your phone exposed so anyway it's kind of fun i wanted to show you that um it would liven up your uh your phone a little bit and i got another one it, it came with two uh so one with a little bit of a, a different cutout right there yeah right there see there's a little bit of a different cutout and so that's cool d brand included that that's really cool and then one for the iphone all right so that's what the inside of your iphone looks like Okay, so yeah, Dbrand did some cool stuff with that. And I wanted to um, also open um, up and see what else is in here. So um, they give you three little cleaning cloths. And this is actually something kind of special because uh, Dbrand um, is a company that's over in, if I didn't mention it already, uh, it's a company that is uh, based out of uh, Canada and they are a pretty well-known company. If you haven't heard of them, um, then most likely somebody else that kind of you know likes to put skins on the back of the phones instead of wearing a case on their phone um, will definitely know about this company. And uh, so um, they're well-known by a lot of people that like to go caseless. Um, but it's a nice box, and there's actually a phone case in here that they made. Oh, uh, so this case right here, 
is an actual dbrand case and it comes with some other i haven't opened this yet so i'm seeing it for the first time with you uh so <laughs> so i'm not going to show this because they uh they kind of um yeah they use a word that you probably shouldn't be using <laughs> on a on a stream in this is pretty much don't mess this up but used it <laughs> and they said it a different way so yeah they're that kind of company um, but anyways, the case is, it's a slim profile case. It's, it's hard, it's got a hard back to it, which means it's going to be somewhat durable. And, uh, yeah, it's got a, a little bit of a fabric on the inside. So you can set, you can tell it's well-made. It is pretty well-made. Um, and that's what the other, uh, skin was for. All right. So the other skin that comes in the box actually goes, so one of them goes, on your phone and the other one has the cutout. So this is the one that goes on the case. So that way you can have this skin again on your case if you wanted to. And then when you take the case off and then you know you have your phone with the skin on there. So yeah, it's kind of a, a continual thing. So anyway, um, I'm trying to get my wife to come in here but I started so late that she's kind of not really wanting to come in here. So come on over whenever you're ready, Stace. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's D brand. And do you guys want to see this on the phone? Uh, let me know and I'll go ahead and put it on there for you. Nah, you know what? I'll just go ahead and put it on there for you. Uh, but so yeah, it snaps in there pretty easy, just like any other case. Uh, but this does feel kind of grippy and they said it was, it was grippy and the sides are made of like a, um, a shiny, uh, plastic kind of right there so uh, yeah it's a it's a nice feeling it doesn't move around a whole lot in there and the top is really stiff so that's nice and the bottom those cutouts right there are nearly perfect they paid a lot of attention to detail and it kind of makes sense that they made these cutouts this perfect right here and up on top as well because it takes a lot of precision to get a sticker like this to look good on the back of your phone. All right. So um, if you are interested at all in seeing a video of how to install this on your phone, then uh, let me know in the comments and I'll for sure uh, consider it if enough of you want to see it. All right. And so right now, I think there's just one person watching. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you want to see it. Um, uh, one of my favorite cases um, is, is an Autobox case. It's, it's, one of these right here, uh, it's a clear one. And this obviously looks really good on the phone. I'm gonna take this off the phone for a minute, but um, yeah, I really like this case, how slim it is. It is nice. So we're gonna take this off for now. And let's see. All right, so um, yeah, so um, if I didn't introduce myself already, my name is Mike and uh, I have um, been doing YouTube about eight months now and um that that is how that looks on there looks really nice and it's been a process of a lot of trial and error and uh you know there's a lot of thankfully this time of the you know this time in youtube's life cycle like 15 years of youtube um there's been a lot of people that have been posting a lot of different videos and things so I've been able to follow a guy named Sean Cannell, and he's shown me a lot of, of you know, do's and don'ts of YouTube. And so thankfully for him, I'm able to um, be motivated enough to actually do this. And, uh, um, and that's why I'm here actually talking to you guys right now, um, because of him saying, you know what, just go ahead and do it. I thought it was too late, you know, um, but it's not too late. Um, I... I can tell right now that it's not too late. There's a uh, more and more people subscribing every day and there's a lot of people um, commenting and, you know, wanting to know things that I actually show them and, you know, wanting to ask me questions, which is amazing. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a pretty cool experience so far. And if you have been thinking about doing YouTube, then I would try it. Um, so I can let you know more about me if you're uh, curious about that at all. Um, so this is the uh, Otterbox Defender case. And I'm going to be trying this case um, on with 
Um, not today, uh, but I'm going to be trying this case on and seeing how this fits with uh, the new screen protector that I got, the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector. And this right here is on sale right now on Amazon. And I will leave a link in the description below as soon as this stream is over on where to get this. Uh, right now, this screen protector is on sale for $35.99. So $36, I would say, is a good price for this screen protector, definitely. Um, it's usually like $49. So yeah, you're saving about $14. Bucks. And I don't know if this uh, screen protector actually works with the Sonic fingerprint sensor. That's been a problem that the, um, the phones had. The uh, Note 10 Plus has, like I said, a Sonic fingerprint sensor. And there's been trouble with or problems with uh, the fingerprint sensor actually sending waves like it's sonic waves through the glass on a screen protector and then back through uh, or and to your fingerprint and back down to the sensor to actually read your fingerprint. I don't know what the deal is with the glass, but it has been a problem. And so I've been having to I've had to use um, a screen protector called Delta Shield. OK, and so I tried this because. I wanted to have a cheaper option than a Zag Invisible Shield, and I have a video up installing Zag Invisible Shield, and I do like Zag Invisible Shield, um, but they're like $30, $30 or something like that. So they're not too expensive, but they're still a little bit too expensive. Um, so I went ahead and tried these. This is a wet install, and remember the one thing you remember, you want to remember that uh, you know, you know when you're installing one of these is make sure that you turn your device off because when you know you, these are supposed to be waterproof but just in case you don't want to get any liquid inside your phone all right so um so yeah go ahead and uh, try this out i think it's pretty good uh, the fingerprint sensor definitely works a lot better uh with this screen protector on okay so it works just about as good as it does without any screen protector on it okay um so i can say that this is good but it probably doesn't um, have very good drop protection for your phone. And that's the only problem, all right? So it's gonna protect, protect it from scratches and things like that. Um, Stace, do you wanna come over here or no? <laughs> Are you too tired? Come on, wake up. <laughs> um, so uh, Whitestone Dome Glass, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and let you guys see like what you get in the box. Um, I wanted to do a full on install and everything um, but it's already you know, 10 o'clock. It was 10 o'clock by the time I started everything. So, um, and I didn't realize that you can't record on your mobile device. Um, uh, not nah, nice. Let's see. Be awesome if you made a video. Um, so this is by Brent, the metal funk Peterson. <laughs> nice. Uh, be awesome. If you made a video, how to do all the stuff that people do on the computer, uh, for YouTube, etc. but on cell phone, like you find your role, send your Facebook videos to YouTube and more. All right, um, let's see, <laughs> let me read that one more time. So he's saying it'd be awesome if you made a video how to do all the stuff that people do on the computer for YouTube, etc. cetera. All right, um, so, but on cell phone, like how you find URL, uh, send your Facebook videos uh, to YouTube and more. Gotcha, okay, so you just wanna find out like the mobile um, version of, of making videos and stuff. Um, so if you guys want to find out more about that, it, like, so for Brent, for you in particular, I can recommend right now. Uh, so you go type in, um, after this uh, live stream, type in, in the search bar, uh, or write this down. Uh, so think media. Okay. So Sean Cannell. Um, so he's been like the main reason only have a cell phone. Got it. Okay. Got you, Brent. Yeah. So, um, write this down for sure. Um, if, uh, yeah, if, when you get a chance, go look up the Think Media. Okay, two words, Think Media. And uh, yeah, Sean Cannell, he'll tell you, you can look uh, through all of his videos and he'll tell you exactly uh, what you need to do. Um, there, he has a big team. Uh, Heather will, Heather's the one that mainly uh, focuses on cell phone a video. Um, you know, of course, I will help you as much as I can. Uh, but, uh, you know, all I do is shoot with this uh, video camera on my cell phone. That's all I use. Uh, but I also have a computer to, to uh, do that with as well. Um, but go look up Think Media. Um, I just downloaded an app uh, just recently on my Note 10 Plus and my iPhone 11 Pro Max. 
Um, you can write this down too. It's a Premiere Rush and it's made by Adobe. And you'll have to sign up for an account. Um, and, you know, uh, it's pretty simple. You don't have to like, you know, sign your life away or anything. They do want a subscription. They have a subscription plan. I think it's like $19.99 a month or don't hold me to it, but it's something, you know, it's, it's, it's not too bad. Um, but if you just want to get into something, um, they'll show you a little tutorial when you get into uh, Rush, Premiere Rush. So you can go on your iPhone or the Android store, um, Apple store, either one. Um, so uh, yeah, either one of them will have it. So go look that up there and uh, try it. it I, I haven't done an edit on that, that software yet, but I think that might be something good for you. All right. Um, so um, what is it in particular? Anything else that you... What made you want to come to this uh, this live chat, um, you know, or this live video, uh, Brent? Anything else? Um, I don't mind trying to help you out uh, with anything else as far as you know recording videos. But um, if there's anything else that I can uh, show you here, then uh, let me know. All right. Um, so, um, all right. So the uh, Whitestone Dome glass. Let's get back to that. Um, they package this kind of weird. There's been something with white stone dome glass lately, and it's been breaking um, before people can even get out of the package. And so I don't know why. Um, I think I opened this the other day, and I think the problem is actually has to do with the way this just sits in here like this. Right. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So they just threw the glass basically in here. And they didn't secure it. So this piece of thick plastic right here is just laying on that glass, just like that. So I mean, all this stuff is moving around in here, and um, I don't know. It won't scratch it. My wife's over there talking about how it could scratch it. It, it could scratch it, I guess, but it's um, in a uh, plastic, you know, sleeve, so it should be okay. Um, and this one happens to not be cracked, so I think I got lucky with it. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to be doing an install of this on the Note 10 Plus. I've been, I've been hesitant to buy it, and I actually missed the sale. Uh, they have a sale right now. I don't know if you saw that, Brent. I don't know if you have a Note 10 Plus, um, but um, they have a sale right now on Amazon for uh, $35.99, and so that's like $14 off, which is a really good deal. Um, I happen to, I got $5 off, I think, or something like that. So it's not too bad, but yeah, that this now's the time to buy it. Uh, but yeah, so, um, they shouldn't package it like that. Definitely not. Um, this, uh, glue in here is a LOCA glue. I forget what LOCA stands for, <laughs> but, um, Crazy. it's something like, a like super high, um, quality, some sort of high quality glue. Um, that allows it to, um, first of all, this glue is really good. It adheres really well to your, your, your phone. Um, I tried to pull my, my, uh, white stone dome glass screen protector off of my one plus seven pro and every other glass that I've been, that I've had that hasn't had an adhesive or that you have to, you know, use a UV light on has pulled off no problem, but that one didn't. So white stone dome has really good adhesive, which means that it's also really drop protective. Right, so good adhesive means good drop protection. Uh, the thicker the screen protector, the better the drop protection. The thicker the screen protector, uh, the less uh, touch sensitivity you have on your phone. All right, so there's kind of like um, you got, there's a there's an in between there. You have to you have to find like a happy medium, like a balance. Right, that's the way everything is in, in life, really. Right, a balance. Um, so I'll be installing that screen protector. Um, I was hesitant to get it because the fact that it's easy to break um, because of the fact that it was breaking on people. But me being a YouTube channel, I have to get stuff like that so I can help you guys. Um, Brent, you said something else. Uh, like can't even change YouTube picture. I watched a lot of, a lot, think, oh, Think Media. <clears throat> you were on Browse and I have never seen a good cell video. All right. You can't even change the YouTube picture. Gotcha. Um, so you're talking about the one um, in your actual um, your actual channel. 
like uh, your page, your main page. Yeah, there's no way to actually, I don't think there's a way to change that uh, without having a computer because I did it through Chrome, through my Chrome extension. I couldn't even do it through Safari on my MacBook, but that's because of uh, settings that I had in my MacBook that, that I didn't want to switch up. All right, so um, I, I need to look into that for you. I'm going to use my notes right now and I will um, write it down for you. Um, so how do you change a, a YouTube you want to change your YouTube picture um, and you watch a lot of think media. All right. So you, um, so you want to change your YouTube picture. Okay. Got it. With, with your phone. So I'm going to find out um, if that's even possible. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, but you know what, like, um, like Sean was saying, when you go, if you go live, all, all you have to do actually, if so when you, so you can't go live on your mobile phone. Um, when you can record from your phone and um, you can use YouTube studio on your phone. Uh, so get, get, get the video done, record it, get it all done, uploaded, um, upload it to YouTube. And then <clears throat> what I would say is let that go. That's fine. Um, then go into YouTube studio and then go and um, adjust it in YouTube Studio. And so what you do is you go find your video in YouTube Studio on your app. There's an actual app you can get. So I think if you made a video how to use cell phone only for YouTube and how to upload uh, your Facebook videos on YouTube. <clears throat> that's cool. I mean, I've never done a Facebook video. So I mean, that's something I'd have to figure out. So I don't even know exactly um, how to do that yet. <laughs> so I would have to figure that out. Um, but I know you can put, um, links to your YouTube videos in Facebook. I know that. Um, but I've never done the opposite. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can do it, but, uh, I'm, I'm going to look into it for sure. So, um, see, but this, here's the thing is, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm a digital life. My channel is a digital life and I don't mind helping you at all. Um, with that, not at all. Um, I will do all I can to help you. It's just, I'm not like focused on that. Like I'm more focused on mobile technology, um, which you would think would kind of relate to, uh, you know, uploading to YouTube, but mainly like, um, how does this cell phone work? You know, um, is it good for your life? So my goal on this channel is to find the right phone case and face to fit your life and style. All right. So, uh, face meaning screen protector. Um, so, um, I might have to uh, do a little bit of, um, <clears throat> um, you know, a little bit of thinking on my my name of my channel, you know, if that's mainly what it's going to be. Uh, but you know what? So who knows? Who knows what this could turn into? Maybe I should, you know, consider uh, going ahead and, uh, you know, doing more of that kind of video. Like Sean was saying, you know, um, you go where uh, you go where uh, you're needed, right? Like. Um, wherever people are, you know, going to. And, uh, so if you need that, if that means you need to change what your, you know, your actual vision is for YouTube, it's kind of like putting that brown peg in a square hole, right? So if it's, if what you think is going to work, then maybe it won't work, you know, um, uh, maybe that you're just, you got to switch it up a little bit. So maybe I should consider that. So I will look into that Brent for sure. Um, <clears throat> I will, uh, um, I believe that these, the chat will stay up. Like after I stop this video, I think the chat will stay up and I'll be able to go back and, and refer back to everything that you were talking about. So, um, but I am nonetheless going to look into, uh, you know, posting a video. Um, so yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Um, so cool. Um, Hey, what, what phone are you using uh, right now, Brent? Um, I have the 5g, uh, McLaren. Uh, one plus seven pro. So one plus seven T pro. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on this pretty soon. And so you have any questions on that? Um, it's got a pretty cool paint job on it. Let's see. I don't know if you're interested at all, but I figured I'll show you anyway. So, uh, this phone is pretty fast and, um, I don't know if it's time to upgrade to 5g yet. All right. So, I don't think it's quite uh, like that important, but pretty soon I would say by next year, 
no, nobody's going to want to buy a phone that's not 5G. Okay. And this phone is basically 30 to 60 megabytes faster that I've noticed in, in, in Southern California um, than any of my LTE phones. And I actually do have good uh, 5G coverage. Um, so you do find yourself kind of like going like this, you know, to try to get that better 5G coverage. Because if you go down like this a little bit closer to your body, then it starts to cut out and maybe even go to 4G LTE. But even so, even the 4G LTE is more um, stable on this phone, I guess, lack of a better word, uh, than um, my Note 10 Plus. Okay. And that's the not that's not the 5G version. Okay. So um, any other comparisons or anything? Um, I think that I'm about to uh, wrap this up. Um, oh, uh, you got you have the A6 Galaxy. Um, A6. Um, I think that's one of the uh, the budget galaxies, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, I do have the uh, S10 Plus Galaxy. Uh, so I heard a lot of good things about the uh, budget phones. But I think the um, the 10e. Nope, it's not the 10e. I think it's the. I can't remember what it is. Uh, so you have an A6 Galaxy. Um, what do you think? Samsung, three hundred fifty dollars. Nice. That's cool. Um, yeah, three fifty. Yeah, you can't beat that. That's a great price for sure. And how do you like it? Are you liking the pictures that it takes and and all that? Um, so yeah, my wife found something. Um, it says, uh, how to change YouTube profile picture on a uh, mobile device. Nice. Um, so are you asking about a profile picture? How you change that? Because that can be done through the YouTube studio app. I can already tell you right now <clears throat> that that can be done, um, through the YouTube studio app. And, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, so, uh, what are you going to be upgrading to? Um, later on if you decide to upgrade it was awesome at first yeah um <clears throat> that's kind of how samsung's have been doing <laughs> working lately um but i can tell you uh with the note 10 plus and the galaxy s10 um plus this phone has not slowed down. Usually after like what Samsung's, uh, I think you know. Um, oh, so you have the S9, nice. Okay, cool. Um, but um, yeah, the S9 is nice. I didn't have the, I haven't had the S9. I've heard, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, but I don't know if it's worth you upgrading to the S10 or S10 plus. I don't even know if you're even thinking about upgrading, um, but if you did want to upgrade, your phone's probably about paid off, right? Um, there's a website that you can go to. It's called Swappa. I don't know if you've heard of it. Uh, so S-W-A-P-P-A, -P -P Swappa.com, and you can sell your phone there. And the reason I like it there, instead of going through something else like Craigslist or something like that, eBay, um, it's more secure. So you you send your um, your IMEI to actual you know Swappa, and you send them all your information and they uh, make sure that you, this phone you're selling is not stolen, right? Um, so, and any phone that you would buy there, um, it would, they would make sure that your phone that you'd be getting from them is not stolen. So uh, they work through PayPal with everything, and there's a lot of positives to buying from them or selling from them, you know, or selling through them, uh, because um, I don't know if you're thinking about it or not, uh, but um, it's just the security that's involved with it is great. Um, it's it's one of those things where you don't want to have to go meet up with somebody really, you know, uh, and, and it's better if uh, you don't have to like have them come over to, over to your house or anything like that. Um, so I definitely think that it's a, a way to go. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit more money cause they charge you 10, $20 or something like that uh, to, uh, to um, get your, uh, your device sold through them. So, um, all right. Um, this is definitely different from watching a, uh, a Sean, a think media video, right? <laughs> right. Brent, um, the quality of the video is not so good. This is actually, um, using my MacBook pro camera and, uh, and yeah, and Sean Cannell's like, he's so witty, so fast, you know, he's been doing it so long. Um, but I don't know. I've had a couple of things here that I've been wanting to show you guys. And, 
I'm going to be doing another live stream. I might even live stream um, installing um, the screen protector on the Note 10 Plus. Um, so, uh, Brent, um, can you tell me what made you click on this video? Uh, is it because you just had nothing else to do? Um, you saw me today. Uh, what was it that made you click on this video? Can you can you let me know? Just so that way I can do that again, maybe, um, or you know, try to replicate that so that way um, make more people come to this live stream the next time. And also, how is the sound? I think the sound probably isn't that good. Am I right? Can you hear me okay? I didn't ask that. Um, so, all right. Um, I'll give you a little bit to answer, uh, Brent, but uh, thank you uh, for stopping by nonetheless. And I know there's one other person here that's watching. I'm not sure um, who it is. Um, once this phone is paid off. Okay, one, so Brent, you said once this phone is paid off, $1 to start for um, S9, um, 100 uh, for the S10. And I thought you were building something. Oh, you thought I was building something. Gotcha. All right. Um, like I was putting something together, like uh, like building, uh, like, uh, okay, I wonder. Let's see. The tech will show. I mean, it does kind of look like, my thumbnail kind of looks like I have a bunch of stuff to build together, I guess a little bit, right? Um, what I did plan on was uh, putting one of the skins on the back of this phone right here. Um, so... The problem with that is, is actually um, using a blow dryer on this phone <laughs> while you guys are live streaming is probably not a good idea. I don't, I don't think. Maybe, maybe it would be okay. I mean, um, yeah, who knows? Um, but I, it's worth a try. You can't uh, knock until you try it. But um, I want to help you so as much as I can. So. Um, I want you to get as much, you clicked on this chat, so I want you to get as much as you can out of being here with me to watch this, all right? Um, so um, are there any questions? So your picture and, and sound is fine. Nice, nice, thank you. Cool. Um, right on, so it's not too loud or anything and the picture's okay. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, um, any final questions? Anything I can help you with? Um, if you are looking for places to connect with me, I'm going to have more of something to put, uh, put together uh, for the live stream uh, next time. I was just, this is kind of like a test and to see how everything's going, you know, or how, how everything works. And um, it's cool that I actually got somebody, actually two people, um, to be here. And I appreciate, for, appreciate you for being here. There's many, there's a lot of people that will go on and not be able to talk to anybody. They'll be talking to open space, you know. For the first stream so having anybody here at all is awesome um so um yeah i truly appreciate you um but yeah is there anything else anything else uh, that i can help you with i want you to get a lot of uh, you know at least something out of this so i really do like this case by the way and uh the main reason for me getting this case yeah it is one of my favorites but i could go without it uh, the main reason for getting this case right here is the fact that I need to find out if the uh, for be is for a commenter. So somebody commented and asked, um, and hopefully that person is watching this or eventually because this I'm going to be saving this, and um, I think I'll let it post to my channel, even though the camera the quality is not that good. Um, but the main reason is because they commented and asked if this case worked with the the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector. All right, so this right here. And they wanted to know if it worked with AM film screen protector as well. And I think this one's right here, the AM film. This is the last one I have. This is a two pack, it's $39 on Amazon. And this is a really good, really good uh, screen protector. So I can't say if this one is yet or not, but this one never cracked on me or anything, all right? Uh, so this is definitely a good one. Um, so, 
All right, yeah, no problem. Um, so, uh, Brent, I think uh, that's it for now, right? Um, uh, hey, I hope you come back next time. Um, I'll have more for you. Uh, let me know uh, what you thought uh, what you thought I was going to build, and uh, um, I wish that you know I did build something. Actually, I love building stuff. You know, working working with my hands is awesome. And um, Stace, do you want to come over here? And <laughs> you don't want to? <laughs> come on, you look a lot better than I do on here. <laughs> <laughs> all right um so uh that's it all right uh brent uh thank you for uh all the comments you commented a bunch you were talking a bunch uh so you made the chat Thanks, <laughs> lively <laughs> yep and see she looks a lot better than i do on here right doesn't she make the the camera look better <laughs> oh my gosh the stream look better so um had no idea yeah yeah that's okay okay cool um so uh uh, Brent, uh, live blessed and uh, take care, all right? And uh, thank you for uh, watching this channel. And anybody else out there, uh, thank you for uh, um, watching. And I, uh, any, any questions about anything that I showed you here today or tonight, uh, go ahead and uh, put it down in the comments. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook um, at Hey Digital Life. And now on Instagram, um, at Hey Digital Life as well, and on Twitter, underscore A Digital Life. Okay, guys, um, again, on this channel, my goal is to help you find the right phone, case, and face to fit your life and style. And Brent, I'm going to go look up that stuff for you, okay? I haven't, I haven't forgotten um, any, anything about the fact that you, you only have your phone, so I'm going to help you out, okay? So, cool. Yes, already did. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing and all that. So, okay, cool. I will uh, see you later, uh, guys, and uh, take care. Bye.